this is so weird i never straightened my hair like i haven't straightened my hair probably in four years three years so it's weird but it's blending girl oh oh hey guys it's your girl chelsea alexa welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be installing a u-part wig that i got from wiggins hair i had originally wanted this kinky straight u-part that i saw on amazon um for about 150 dollars but I ended up just looking around a little bit more and I saw this one from Wiggins that was around the same price. I've wanted to try Wiggins hair for a while now, I'm not gonna lie. I first saw them a couple years ago on YouTube and things like that, but I didn't see that many reviews. So I was kind of scared to try them without, you know, seeing too many reviews out there. But I promise you ever since then, every review that I've seen of them has been amazing. So I'm really, really excited to try it. So if you're ready to see me install this kinky straight U part wig, keep watching. So this is the U-part wig. It's so soft, oh my gosh. And the ends are really full. I was prepared to have to like cut it, cut it and layer it, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep it, keep the ends how they are and leave it the same length. It's really soft. I did co-wash it and I blow dried it um, with my Revlon uh, paddle dryer. This is what the inside looks like. Little clips. Yeah, my only thing is that the clips are pretty small, but it's fine. Yeah, man, in my experience, kinky straight hair does not curl well. So I'm interested <laughs> to see what it does. I'm not gonna curl it too much. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a curl at the end. While those curls cool down, I'm just gonna work on my hair now. As you guys know, I always do my hair in four sections after wash day. So my hair is freshly washed. Uh, after I wash my deep conditioner out, I put in some leave-in conditioner, and then I divide it up into four quadrants, and I just comb it through and braid it down. That's why I choose to stretch my hair because I don't like using heat as often. Today, I am going to be using heat on my hair, but only on the sections that are gonna get left out. So the rest of my hair is gonna get braided up the way that it is, and I'm gonna take my hairline out in a small section for leave out that I'm going to blow dry and flat iron on low or medium heat. Okay, so I have my hairline out on the sides, and then I have where I'm gonna do my part. I feel like that should be enough leave out. So now I'm gonna work on braiding the rest of my hair. I am going to start by doing like an anchor braid around this uh, side section and then I'm going to do maybe five, maybe six like bigger cornrows in the back and I'm just going to connect them. For moisture, I'm going to be going in with Kinky Tresses Coconut Mango Hair Butter.
I'm gonna use this Cantu heat protectant that I've had for a little while. And I'm going to be using that Revlon paddle dryer. It's the same dryer that I use to um, blow out the kinky straight U part wig when I after I co-washed it. Okay, so it is situated. It's a little too big, but it came with a band, so I could always add the band later on to make it even. I have my flat iron on 375 like I had for the, the wig. some beeswax and I'm just gonna use that to kind of smooth out my ends and I find that it keeps my hair straighter longer so I don't have to go over the flat iron again.
it's giving black girl next door. You know what I'm saying? I love this. I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this one. Yup. Yup. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. I'm going to get me some cute little pictures because I'm feeling myself. And I'll see y'all next time. Later.